Do do do, what would you do? What would you do if you had to choose between chocolate and peanut butter? Chocolate and peanut butter, everybody's favorite things. Okay, um, well, I guess unless you're allergic to peanut butter, then you choose chocolate. We need new questions. Let's talk about this. We're going to talk about electric fields and voltages and how their graphs and slopes can go together. Um, if you aren't aware, it is well known that an electric field can be determined by the negative of the derivative of the voltage as a function of radial position. Okay. Um, if you wanted to write this in 3D, in 3D, um, this would actually be uh, the negative of the quantity, and then you need partial derivatives, which you'll see whenever you get further in calculus, uh, a partial derivative of the voltage with respect to a x-coordinate in the i-hat direction. Um, well, here, we'll put that all in a big bracket. Plus the partial derivative in the y-direction in the j-hat coordinate, plus the partial derivative of the voltage in the z k hat coordinate. Um, this can also be thought of as just taking a gradient vector. Uh, this is the negative of the gradient of the voltage. Okay, so that's the gradient. You'll see that later on in your life if you want to do things in 3D. Um, but what does this right here mean for what we're talking about? Well, the derivative as a uh, function of position. Remember, from your calculus courses, you've learned that a derivative is nothing more than a slope. Okay, um, this in 3D would actually be like a slope field because it's like a surface or a three-dimensional object. Um, but what we're talking about here, this is just a slope, and more importantly, it is the opposite direction of whatever that slope is. So if you have a voltage position graph and you take the slope of it whatever the negative of that slope is, will be the electric field uh, at those positions. So if you just have, here, let's just build like a really basic graph real quick. Um, here's voltage, and let's just do this. So boop, boop, boop. what's going on here? Um, if this is a point like two, and then this is, let's just make this like a four, and then, I don't know, this would be like a six, eight, who do we appreciate? Lord Res Tob. Um, and let's just make this, I don't know, like positive 10 and uh, zero, and then down here we'll just make this like negative 10, something nice. Um, if we take a look at this here, uh, in this first region, we have a nice positive slope. And if we take a look at the slope here, um, we're gaining 10 over two, I don't know, this is, this is R, so this is in meters, right? So 10 and two meters, 10 volts and two meters. Um, the slope of this, well, 10 divided by 2 is uh, a positive 5. But this means that our electric field here has a value of negative 5 newtons per coulomb. Okay, So that's what the electric field is right here. Um, up here, the, the slope is equal to 0, which means that your electric field equals 0. And then going down here, our slope is some negative quantity. Uh, we're going from 10 to negative 10 over a period of 4. Interestingly enough, um, we're going from 10 to 0 in a period of 2 again, so this is going to be values of negative 5. But this means that our electric field down here um, through this entire region is a positive 5. So your electric field is just the negative of the slope. It's just the opposite of the slope value giving your electric field, which is kind of a cool thing. Um, what this equation up here also tells us is if we kind of rewrite it in a slightly different way, um, if we say that the electric field, and I'm going to bring the dr term over, this would equal negative dv, which means that if I integrated both sides, <gasps> what? Integrals, remember, give me areas, and this is just fancy addition for saying negative voltage. So if you have a graph that is not a voltage graph, but it is a electric field graph with a function of position, then if you have some shape here, the area between your function and the axis, this area here represents the voltage 
that you have. Um, and once again, it's important to recognize that this is the opposite of the voltage, opposite of the voltage. So up here, um, this is a positive area, but it will be a negative voltage. And down here, it's a negative area. This represents a positive voltage. So we can actually look at graphs um, of E fields and uh, voltages. Uh, there's electric potentials, and we can actually figure out um, what electric field strength or what the potentials could be based on the type of graph here. Uh, and it's just really recognizing this one equation. Um, this equation is very important for us. Uh, it does pop up on the APC test every once in a while. Sometimes it's just like, here's a function, um, here's, a, here's a voltage function, what's the electric field, and you just take a derivative, okay? So that's a very important thing to know. Uh, make sure you know that. And also, don't be afraid to you know think about these in terms of their graphical representation. That derivative is just a slope, so what will it mean if we do graph it out? Okay? Uh, with that, this is finished. If you'd like to see more of this, uh, there are some AP Physics C, E, and M, um, AP re re free response questions that I have made in the past uh, that you can check out that use these ideas. Um, but until next time, adios and take it easy.